Okay, so we have still a bunch more side quests to do and this one that popped up over here. I feel like we should wrap up this one for Martha and then work our way down and then hit the new ones that popped up, but there's so many damn quests. Uh, Hawks cry. You know what? Let's start here. We'll work our way down. Every time I think I've defeated all the side quests, they're like, but wait, there's more. Speaking of. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Sir? Excuse is this me. convenient? I'm looking for something. Oh, well. Then I'm your man. <laughs> a silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> Though you're not the first to mention <laughs> the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some gutted hovel, not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. Okay, that's not too bad. I assume I have to go talk to Martha. Right? Yes? Oh, there's a quest in the area, but it's not necessarily her. Well, I'm still gonna talk to her. Because I like her. Good to see you. When I was a little girl... My family owned a bearer. They let her sleep in a corner of the barn and had her play with me and teach me letters. We never ate together or slept under the same roof, but even so, she was like family. I was with her on the day she died. She held me in her arms and whispered in my ear, My darling Martha, I'm so glad you didn't awaken. It was only years later that I found out she wasn't just a servant. She was my grandmother? Bro, what? With grandmother? I watched her die in the corner of the barn on a pile of old straw. I swore then and there. That I was going to do everything in my power to bring an end to all this. To never stop fighting until the day when bears can live free just like she deserved to. Do you know what? When I see that glint in your eyes, I reckon that day might be along sooner than I dared to hope. Yo, that is... This game is dark sometimes. Weren't long after Rosalith got ransacked that Sir Wade and his men... Rosalith got ransacked that Sir Wade and his men turned up at our gates begging for shelter. The wind right up us. It did. The state of them all dressed in filthy rags. We were worried they might be cutthroats come to thieve and pillage. But some of the folk they'd helped escape from the capital recognized them and set us right. Thank goodness they did. Couldn't have dreamed of better guests than the Guardians. The way they took the bearers under their wings and taught the Blood Axes how to fight like true shields of Rosaria. And when night fell, and they'd all gather around the bonfire to sing songs of the old duchy, why, it was enough to bring a tear to your eye. Like being back in the glory days. It was. With them knights in shining armor come riding to the rescue. Half of me wishes they hadn't left. For Eastpool. <laughs> But the other half knows they're better off up there. They're only a stone's throw away if we need them. And we're down here if they ever need us. Because that's what Rosaria's about. Not preening knights and mooning maidens. Mooning maidens. <laughs> Five maidens mooning. <laughs> Changes the whole song. But proud, hard-working men and women helping out, uh, helping one another out even. Sorry, I get distracted because I realized her mouth was moving. And I think I've been reading the dialogue so much that I didn't notice. Has, have their mouths always been moving during this? Did I just notice this now? It ain't exactly a bed of roses. We've got ether floods cropping up all over. And new arrivals up at the gates. Near, now I'm looking at her mouth and it's not moving. It's blowing my mind. Near enough every day begging for us to take them in. Ever since the skies turned, it's been a struggle just to survive. But you won't hear any of us complaining. Not least, because we're finally free of the Empire's grip. The garrison's been pulled back east. A few remaining black shields have gone with them. Which also means we don't have to fear for our bearers no more. 
We can even treat them like the human beings they are. Just like they're doing up in Eastpool. That's just a start. We can make a good go of Eastpool. It'll show the rest of the realm you can live without magic. Without slaves. That we can all be free. Alright, Martha. Alright. You come back and Big visit, alright? Big fan. Uh, is it up here? Or... Can I go in any of these rooms? Or... Yes, nearby quest destination. I'm working. I'm working on it, Joshua. I'm working on it. Help me out here, pal. What's up? The guardians of the flame were true friends to the rest. They fought our enemies, manned our barricades, joined us in our patrols. Now they're gone. I suppose it's back to double shifts. Dude, I'm on, like, quadruple shifts over here. You got no clue, my man. I am putting in work for this community. Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. Yeah. Now. Now get back out there and sell some shit. Hello? How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the Vicerine? Uh, Both sound great. Maybe another time. I don't know, Clive. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. Interesting. So hold on. So there's still like search for information. Look, that one guy seemed pretty knowledgeable and where it would be. Just more people want to talk about silver chocobos. This place still, still working? Hurt, does it? Oh, a thousand Akashic jaws couldn't hurt me. I'm a son of Rosaria, after all, a born survivor. All right. Look at that. Nothing. All right. Well, there was that treasure chest. I got that treasure chest, Joshua. You'd be very impressed. Hey. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rian and Tride. It sounds almost too good to be true. But, since I'm already here. So that's the docks. So there's one there. All right. Potentially one there. Yeah. Since I'm already here. Let's go. I just want to ride my chocobo over to this place. So I can smash some face. Yep. Get out of the way. You level 33 nobodies. Oh, we're here. Okay. They're still coming for me, huh? Okay. Let's do it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Maybe I did. You know what? Maybe oh, I did. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Tracks. Well, probably this way. Oh. They're not left by bandits for a change. 
muddy chocobo tracks. Think this guy could be a friend? I'm like, sure, take a feather. What do I care? More tracks. And these look fresh. Ambrosia's my best bud. Take it, take one. It's cool. The chocobo was here. And recently. Perhaps it still is. Inside, sipping a tea. Reading the paper. Come on in, old chap. I was just waiting for you. Really is inside. I don't hear anything. The... Hold on, before I take the feather. Huh. Alright. Potentially was, but here we are. Well, I'll be damned. That one kind of looks like the eagle from the Muppets. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Okay, but we're watching you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Let's get this back together before they change their minds. Very cool. Right, that's one down. Shack investigated. So I guess I needed to know which specific shack. Because the first guy was like, it's at a shack. And it was at a shack. But I guess for the rest of the quest, I needed to know exactly what shack. The love shack. It's a little place where we can get a feather. I got to stop. I got to cut it out. Really? This simple? Tree of oil. Mint oil. After what happened here, it's a miracle there was any left at all. Alright, what else do we need here? Whoop! I better get these materials to mid so she can finish her prototype. Nice. Man, it's all coming together, baby. And then we got... Oh, 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 oh. Hero's Bluff. Yeah, let's go here. Might as well keep this train going. I'm half expecting to run into some uh, terrible baddies as we go through this. Because you know how they be. These terrible baddies. But we can also clear the bounty board a little bit, and that's fine with me too. Will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? Save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Yo, that's real. I can't wait to see this Just scene. Like I'm actually that. very safe. excited for this. Hmm. I think I found this spot earlier and was like, what is this? Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me.
No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, Father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> We won't lay you down. That was such a Final Fantasy scene. Onward then. Onward. To the end. That was such a Final beginning. Fantasy scene. I love it. Final Fantasy games, there's always like a moment where someone is standing over the grave of someone they've lost, and then there's like a like Whoa! <laughs> every time. Wow, alright, look at this. Battle helm is now in my chambers. Amazing. We're actually gonna fill this damn thing out. I'm so pleased. That scene was everything I wanted. Joining hands with Joshua. Joshua has joined Clive's party and remain. All right, right. Cool. I mean, that's. <laughs> that is what is. Been happening. Unless I've just been, like, cheating the system. In which case, yeah, all right. That, that checks out. was like, hell no. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. Joshua will swim. You two go on without me. I doubt that boat will hold a third. If you're sure, we won't be long. Hop in, boy. right through those trees. Come on. New map, eh? And the saddest of songs. Race you there. I bet I could still beat you. Damn, you're soaking. This was our hideaway. 
Wasn't it, Togo? Coming here helped me to forget who I was, or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love. Had I been any one of those things? Perhaps. <laughs> What is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did... you bring these here? Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. <coughs> That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. People always talk about the importance of putting the past behind you. But without it, we wouldn't be who we are today. And we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow. Come on, Toggle. Let's go home. That was great. I... Man. Can I just say... The most bittersweet apart, bittersweet apart, bittersweet part of that is knowing that for such a good scene, for such an important scene, I think a lot of the messaging of what this game is and what it's trying to say is very, very good. But I think a scene like that should have been part of the main story. I, I know for a fact a lot of people probably miss that scene because they just went to the end. Because the end's right there. It's like right there. And so I keep thinking, how many people saw that? Got to got to see Sorry that to wait. wrap up. We're ready. Because these have all been good. All these side quests here at the end have been great. But it's one of those like RPG things where it's a bunch of side quests at the end and it's like, okay, well, how many people are going to do them? You know what I mean? I, of course, am because I love them, but... You know what you know what I mean. All right, Dun Dunzo. All right, 
Lost Wing. We got this over there, huh? Let's start here and we'll go back. And then, hey, that's good. And we're headed back here, huh? Of course we are. So I need to, oh boy. Come on, map. Yorp. I said, Yorp. Should I have gone to a different... Ah, of course. Try my hardest to not get caught up in this swamp again. What? Eh, you know what? I'm getting caught up. We're doing it. We're getting caught up. Experiences, experience, as they say. Oh, I'm having care. Carefully murdering. No, nope, that's terrible. <laughs> that's that's terrible. That's not good. Him kicking the spider like that is probably the fantasy of a lot of people. <laughs> they just see a spider, they're like, if only I could like drop kick or spin kick a spider, that'd be awesome. Well, we're not swamping it up, huh? We're going full on, uh, just up here. Okay, okay. Might this be Mickleburg? Interesting. Uh, hello? These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. But why? What is going on here? Ah, did you too? Heed the call. Heed the call? No, I... I came here looking for someone. To what? be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... they... They heeded the call. You keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. Help want me to be saved. Kidnap Anastasia. Forgive me. But did another foreigner, like me, come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from Storm? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. 
Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. Bring us salvation. At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. I don't know, master. We can't kidnap Anastasia. Please, you've got to help me. Barnabas. Uh, first off, why am I just going straight there? I got caught up in my goofy Anastasia <laughs> dialogue read. I don't know what that was. That hot, very topical Anastasia movie uh, goofs. The kids love it. I don't know, master. That's what the bat sounded like, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> Got to get the Anastasia. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the way of sweet, sweet loot. Also, maybe up here? Hey, all right. Ding. So there's like a whole other area down there too. That could be it. That could be some good loot. This guy's front yard is the good loot. It could be there's a lot of boxes and bins and not much. Excuse me. Yeah. Not a sparkly to be had. You ever get worried the music is a little too tense? Like something terrible is about to happen, but you're just going to go visit a man in a house? Hey, hi. Are you crazy now? What's going on? Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Badge Sash. Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. And I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. Go on. You've seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... ...tis different. It is more. No, dude, that's fanaticism. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become Akashic. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here. <laughs> this will be fine. Totally fine. 
Not at all trouble. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. They got what they wanted. Let them scream. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Ready. Very ready. <laughs> Now, I know that we can't go down there, but, like, what if we could? There's so many ruins I want to explore. Oh, hello. <sighs> we meet again. I've killed your kind before. Oh, get smoked, oh. idiot. Oh, whoa, the follow-up got me. Okay, it always does. It always does. Oh, this guy's abilities are cool as hell. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, punk. Nah, 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 let's go.
All right, there we go. That's how all good battles should end with the. I really should ask Ben what it was like recording those lines. What did you look like in studio? It couldn't have been like hot. Just like, like just the goofiest. Damn it. Ah! Oh, bro! Don't you die. Come on, speak to me. No, no, he's dead, dude. That guy. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their lord just as i did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in a duty to serve was everything to me and I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. Oh, I'm troubled. It's totally messed up. My findings. <laughs> Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. What? I just got like a double dose of religious fanaticism. <laughs> One guy was like, it's my duty to make sure they can also be cuckoo bananas. And they're like, yeah, I want to be a slave. I think that'd be cool. A mindless slave zombie. Yeah. And he's like, we should do this. We should let it happen. And you know what? <laughs> we did, I guess. You are not going to believe it. They are saved. Found that. <laughs> I should get this report to Cyril. That's what I'm saying. My Lord Marquis. Welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came, and their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live, even knowing that that life was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than I the guess. right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. 
a noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be, only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them, we protect them, and yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them, and you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will, the ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the Undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Again, this is a fascinating topic that I think is one that is, you know, a very adult discussion in a game that has a lot of adult discussions in it. And, you know, it's a side quest, so there's a chance someone could have missed this. And I'm fully on Team Clive where I'm just like, are you kidding me? Y'all acting crazy. <laughs> but I can understand their side of things. It's fascinating. Uh, again, wish we got a little bit more of this in the main story. You know what I mean? I do love it, though. I do love it. But the more I do these, the more I'm like, I absolutely know people miss this. And didn't get to experience the full thing. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me see. Well, of course. <laughs> uh, can I just do it from the map here? That's the wrong map is what that is. We got a whole thing over there. But the edge of infinity we have not gone to yet, huh? What the ding-dongs? But now, back to the swamp. Lovely. Big fan of the swamp. I was just saying how much I enjoyed it. Love those slimes. Love those crazy slimes. Some of my favorite. Just hanging out, being wacky. Gooping on everything. Better already. Uh oh, how did I miss this? I guess I was coming up here and was like, you know what? I don't need bloody hides. Only the love of my brother. Also, hell yes on those. Today, Satan. 
You guys can fight all you want. I'm going. I'm moving. I'm going. Probably should have jumped on my Pokemon, but sometimes in life, dodge every slime coming my way. Just like, no, 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 not today. Seems this place has been flooded twice over. Twice over oh, flood. Blooming next to a waterfall. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh hello. And Hell yes, get wrecked. Damn, we almost wrecked him on the one. Wowzers, meow. That was impressive. That was powerful and impressive. Great. Here they are. Might as well pick enough for a bunch, I suppose. Okay. Done. This seems like... Can I just go here? I can. I just don't have the map cleared? Oh, now I do. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. God, that's so cool. All right. I guess it didn't clear it because I hit a cutscene, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But we're done. That. Then we can go here. This is great. Just wrapping it all up. Feeling good. I think this is the last thing, then just back to uh, base and wrap it all up. Wrap it all up. So I gotta go like up and around. Well, hold on. Map. Nope. I gotta go directly behind me. Well, that seemed like a lie. What do you think this does to the grapes? I think I could get like a nice Akashic 1270. It was a very good year. Right on the vine. Hey everyone. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. So am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, 
We'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <laughs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. Cool. Very cool. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Yep. All right. Everyone to the hideaway, I guess. Reckon Master Quinton could argue an egg back up a hen's quim if he set his mind to it. I don't know why I thought it would be anyone else but Quinton. Any statesmen we speak with are liable to resist our entreaties if they feel that what little power remains to them is at stake. But he's the smartest they one. They must be dealt with skillfully. Yep. I shall not repeat the errors of my past. Hell yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. That is it. We got a clear ass map. Woo wee. All right. Nice. Back we go. Feeling good. Feeling great. But first. But first. Journal. Right, that's a thing. Eh, ooh, er, nope, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. We're still not perfect, huh? How do I become a perfect killing machine? Sir? Uncle, I bring good news. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has! I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Older as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. <laughs> Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. <laughs> well, the old battle axe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now... I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. Awesome. Look at that. But is that a follow-up or just like a flavor text? Or it's happening right now. It's a legit follow-up. 
And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? You'll find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How... how... Dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! Once more unto the breach. Uh. <sighs> Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, Show them that we walk it ourselves. Then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands. But the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, Mike Will. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Bringing your quill, sir. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities, that you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall, and there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I... Uh... I want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. I'm gonna keep saying it. Byron, top three favorite character in this game. He may be number one. I don't know. I'm just getting wild with it. I love that man. <laughs> I love him. What do you think that thing is? And how the hell is Sid going to deal with her? Okay, so we've got... I guess we can go one, two, three, then over here. Thank you. 
we have to turn this into Harpocrates, Harpocrates will be like, hey, I learned a little bit more about your sweet, sweet boy. And then he'll level up? Is that what's gonna happen? I hope that's what happens. Give this doggo full powers. Osman, I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? I think I did. <sighs> you did indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Shall I invite him to join us? Oh, uh, I don't... It's no trouble. I'll go and fetch him. For some reason, I thought that Hippocrates' quest was tied to Torgal. I guess I got my quest mixed up, which makes it really funny because I was like, when could my boy be full power? And then it's like, go see Dion. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Come on, boy. Who wants to be full power? You do. You do. Your Highness, would you do me the honor of accompanying me? No. It is time, then. <laughs> no. Only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No. I dare not show my face before him. Oh, come on. Not after everything I have done. He loves you, bro. I have taken countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. All because I was weak. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again, and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. Then that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. I must, at the very least, offer him my gratitude. Very well, then. Take me to him. Follow me. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? You'd be surprised. Master Harpocrates, pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Is that a wyvern tale? The color is unfamiliar to me. 
because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environment in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates, I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm, for only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, Your Highness. I shall await your return. Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. For reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. Thank you, Clive. Were it not for you, I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him. Not to mention the wyvern tales. I shall plant their seeds, that I might not disappoint His Highness upon his return. I hope the soil in the hideaway is to their liking. Why, these flowers bloomed in the bleak, black wastes of Walud. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. <sighs> when it comes to expressing one's gratitude, I find that words are seldom sufficient. Here. What's this? A Stolas quill. Or more precisely, my Stolas quill. It is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So consider this my wish for you. That one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen. Well, when that day comes, I'll certainly have a lot to write about. Thank you, Harpocrates. It shall have pride of place in my chamber. These scenes are so good. <laughs> They're so good. I love every one of these. Ooh. Six seconds. I'm not sure what that means overall. It sounds good. Also, now to turn exactly back around and go talk to this. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll do it right now. I wouldn't say maybe we should wait, but. Good morrow to you, my friend. Ask about Dion. I well recall. The time I spent at the Imperial Palace instructing the young prince on the history of our realm. He was quite unlike the other noble born children I had taught, not only in the keenness with which he listened but for the earnestness of his conviction. He truly believed that it was the Empire's duty to serve the people and was determined to study the past, that he might not repeat its mistakes. 
which is the reason why what befell Twinside weighs so heavily on his soul. He must live with the consequences, and I fear will take more than mere time to heal such wounds. It will take forgiveness. Not from you or me, nor his countrymen, nor even from his late father. No. From himself. Only then might his flower bloom again. I have compiled some new entries. Where are we at? 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 Come on, baby! Oh! You wish we have to study the tomes? We 100% have to complete the other things. I'll be back. It was no trouble at all. Still. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? Crystal's crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Which I will now tell you. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long. Even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. You had all that and time. That bone ember gave me a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. How will I? <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Eh, you can give it to yourself. Come on. Good dude Gav, just being good. I don't want Gav to give up being a scout, honest. Neither do I. Alright. Infirmary, but first. Actually, you probably should hold off. Because there's going to be so much in there. Uh, actually, we should go this way, too. Hold on. Beyond. Ifrit. Your resolve didn't falter. No. Though I continue to be bewildered by fate, but I should meet with my old tutor here, at the very end of the world. I thank you, with all my heart, for giving me this chance. And I thank you for taking it. Should like to look upon that flower once more. When I am worthy. I stand ready to leave for Origin at your word. May Grieger go with us. And see us safely home. These interactions are so good. I am mm, just eating it up. <laughs> Lady, I'm looking at you. Whenever there's a little thing next to that bubble, I'm going to be very excited. I don't 
think she has anything new? Is there aught I might assist you with? Yeah, all right. Have care, my lord. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh... Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good look charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords, for everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, oh, Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. I'm busy. Look like I'm busy. The boss is here. <laughs> Don't you think you've had enough? No, oh, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. It wasn't long after me tenth name day, me mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over, what with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. Me whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. Do you know why you're our best scout? Yeah. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. You learned from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your 
brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room <laughs> and your sword. Hell yes. Another great scene! I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. Yeah, I was like me when it comes to alcohol. If I'm just thirsty and there's booze around, I'll drink it. And I'm very aware of what's going to happen. I'm like, I'm so thirsty. Now, I could drink water, but also the booze is right there. Uh, one of these days. One of these days, I swear it's going to be me who drinks you under the table. If by under the table you mean wrenching on my boots half the night. <laughs> I reckon one of those days was yesterday. Ha ha. You think you're so funny. But just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots. Huh. That's great. So there's a whole... Uh, the little extras they're adding are so much fun. Big, big fan. Tell me this is all you need. Ah, oh, you make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. Tell me this is all you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <sighs> a cog wheel. Just a tiny one. Though, that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Wait. The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Oh, that's great. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that cog. I love that. It's a question I had at that Mr. moment in the story. A new project yet. Oh, down there, huh? Sid, is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? Is it an airship? I bet it's an airship! 
Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales. Oh, the one you forgot! We remember! We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. The bag of bits? Oh, they got like a junk drawer? Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. That's good to know. <laughs> Look! I found it! Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your... hoard. Just in case. Thanks, Sid. <sighs> well, did they have it? They did. And they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? He's perfect! You're a genius, Clive. What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. But with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. So she made a model of it. Okay. Very, very cute, though. Nice callback. Titan's tits. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course, it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Honestly, these bloody engines are driving me mad! I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But... Maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes. Children, their mums and their dads. Like I lost mine. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head, or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying, but imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. Right. When this is over, I'm going to take all my Mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work... All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it isn't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive, have you ever been on a treasure hunt? 
Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one. So that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mids? Actor, whoever that is, can't wait to the credits, is so good. Like, perfect casting. Of course, if I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. I get the model? Hell yes. What shall I do with your model? You spent a lot of time on it. We both did. What, that old thing? Not healthy to cling to your failures, Clive. The way you down, you know. <laughs> Sound advice. Still. I suppose my prototypes will probably be worth a fair bit when I'm as famous as Bart's the Builder. Seeing as you're always strapped for coin, suppose I can give it to you. Just make sure you get a good price when you do come to part with it. I'd say that was up to you as much as me. Nice. Very, very cool. All right, now, back here. Oh, actually. Over here. <laughs> I want this. Maybe I should actually go and read those notes and stuff first. Then go see if I... Is 8 max level? What's going on here? Will I ever know? If it says there's like a level after that, God help me, I'm never going to get... I'll, I wouldn't know what it would be. I wouldn't know where to find that lore. guy up here. I still think this is really funny. I'm gonna go help! He has been here and not moved ever since. <laughs> Concern for Jill. Uh oh, another thing? Though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart, and we'd be poor friends indeed if we did not seek to lighten that burden. Even but a fraction before we depart for the skies. I would speak on this more in private. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. That's actually probably gonna be a really good quest. Okay. We'll get on that, we'll get on that. Do you remember what you... Joshua, we were hanging out all this time. You could have just told me. Do you remember what you told me that night at Phoenix Gate? That while the fate of Rosaria sits on my shoulders, the fate of its dominance sits upon yours. But are we not both dominants of fire? Does not the flame of our forebearers burn in both our hearts? Should I not protect you as you have protected me? You have sought to be my shield. Now let me choose to be yours. It is not what our uh, is that not what our father wanted? What Sid wanted to cast aside fate and forge our own paths? Grant me this, Clive. Let me be your strength. You always were, buddy. The two of you have been together for what probably feels like a lifetime now, but there's still a lot you have to learn about that hound of yours. I, he'd step in front of a bloody raging behemoth if it meant protecting you. But that don't mean you should take it for granted. 
the end of the day, he's a hound and sometimes just wants someone to pat his head and rub his belly and give him a handful of Koopo nuts. You do good to remember that. Do I need to pat his head more to level him up? My Lord Marquess, I write to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix laments their passing. Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years of duty left undone. That they should live on in the memory of a proud house, uh, son of House Rosfield such as yourself shall surely go some way to soothing their sorrows. And sad music, Q5432, sad music. There's still one left, I imagine that's Jill, probably. The emblem of the Undying's headquarters in Tabor. The Undying are a secret society sworn to serve House Rossfield, and more particularly the dominance of the Phoenix that are born into the Rosa uh, Rossfield line. Such uh, is their acolyte's faith, in the Phoenix, they will gladly surrender their lives if it should be for the benefit of their master. Archduke Elwyn's helm, worn in his victorious campaign to quell the Northern Uprising and later laid to rest upon his memorial stone. Now it sleeps in Clive's chambers, a constant reminder of the bravery and selflessness of the man whose footsteps he and his brother mean to follow. Mid's dangerous dream of flight, immortalized in a miniature. Though the experiment ended in failure, Mid has allowed Clive to keep hold of the model so that once her renown is grown, he might sell the piece for an exorbitant amount of gil. Signed in port is old by representatives from Rosaria, Dalmechia, and Sembrek. This mutual accord sets the stage for a new age in storm, if not officially, than at least in spirit. Lorsman Hippocrates, best loved writing implement, whose ink has penned many a learned tome. It is said that the long quills of the Stolas become imbued with the wishes it hears over its long lifetime, the words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So should the day come that Clive puts down his sword and picks up the pen, he shall not find his one and only insurmountable enemy in writer's block. A gift from Gav, this potent potable, is made from honey collected in the Northern Territory short summers and fermented slowly over the next six moons. Despite an obvious inability to hold his drink, Gav has insisted that he be allowed to share the bottle when the time comes to crack the seal. Oh wait, I have two left. Oh. Clive's old sparring sword, salvaged by Torgal in the aftermath of the Ironblood invasion and hidden in Clive's original hideaway, the Rookery, is a reminder of who Clive was, or once was, and who he has become, as well as the unbreakable bond between lifelong friends. Oh, Torgal! Interesting. So there's two I'm missing? Well, how on earth... Still no, huh? That means I probably have to go hunt down things. Why? Why? There's so much left to hunt, too. My man. I was wondering when next you'd visit. Give me this. I have a few new Give me this. that might interest you. Give me this, Lawsman! Come on, Tomes. What subject shall we consider today? So close. So close to the end. <laughs>